Hello, beautiful Leos. We have an amazing reading for your life path and abundance reading, followed by a love reading. Let's get started. We have, you are willing to release the past. You're just willing to let it go. You have this beautiful butterfly here, and we have the seeds of the dandelions. You're really ready to let go of all the weeds in your life, everything that turns to a weed in your life, and you are releasing. You're in a very calm state of being. You're very chill right now. I don't think most of you expect what is coming up this month. I think that you're a bit oblivious. We see that the advice from spirit is radical acceptance, beloved radical acceptance. It is in your relationships as a whole. It can be a marriage partnership. It can be any partnership or anybody that you care for deeply and that you would like to have success in in the relationship. The map maker of destiny is calling for authentic purpose, inspiration, and free will at this time. You are very empowered, Leo. You don't even know what is ahead because it is amazing. A messenger. You're going to get so many messages this month. When you look at the messenger card, this messenger is going to trip right on top of your head. See how like surprised you look? <laughs> I'm losing my voice, sorry. Um, see how surprised this is you and this messenger keeps kind of jumping on your head not hurting you obviously but definitely getting your attention and so when your phone goes ding this month you're going to be quite surprised by the messages that you see when we look at where you're at in your life you're about to sign a contract Libra energy the Venus is in Libra, the planet Venus is in Libra, and you are a rock star. Somebody is coming along to pay you what you're worth. Look at this. You will get a new, very exciting offer from a, either a business for a business partnership or to join a business partnership, or somebody wants to partner with you on work that you might be doing independently. If you are in a significant relationship, such as a marriage or someone that you work with, you know, in terms of being a teammate in life as you walk your path, your person will be all aboard, completely supportive, and really may even have something to do with having this event occur as an opportunity. But I think for the most part, you've done this on your own. You will have unlimited and enthusiastic response. Um, support. So we look at the tower card with the two of coins. I feel so strongly that this tower is a beautiful, shocking surprise. You have two offers that come in, two offers that are very abundant, two offers that can offer you the chance to completely rebuild and restructure the financial parts of your life, how you earn money, how much you make, what it looks like, what are the conditions. It also looks, again, like this person will chase you down. They want to sign a contract. That's Gemini Energy. It is one that will build a tremendous amount of security for you and allow you to take care of your family. I would also again say that if you are in a marriage relationship or long-term commitment, your partner will go the distance with you and fight for your right to have the dream job that you're hoping for. Leo, you have this incredible energy of always being very reliable. You have a very strong work ethic. Here you are in your reading. You bring so much style, passion, um, creativity to your everyday work life, and that is the basis for this upgrade. You are stepping into the future. You are stepping into a multicultural, multidimensional opportunity in your life in which you may be dealing with very big names, very famous people. You may be dealing with people who 
are um, at an incredibly high level. Different cultures, different countries, you'll be dealing with a lot of advanced thinking, planning, and you're going to be a beautiful part of that. Somebody's going to make you an offer to step to the next level. Leo, you step into this energy without having to even sweat a drop of perspiration on your brow. You have been priming for this for a very long time. It now is like a new seedling falling right in your lap as the winds of time blow forward. We have this beautiful energy of you and the, the concept and the very intelligent way of making sure that you do not take much for granted. You do understand that when we have a tower card and an offer comes out of the blue, there's a feeling that it might be too good to be true. You're feeling very much as though in your career house, you've had good opportunities in the past and they've turned out not to be as real as this one definitely is. So the way you're going to approach the security in your life is you're going to take that step into the future. You're going to put your hands over your ears because you have some fear. You don't want to listen to yourself, you know, talk yourself out of it. Your partner doesn't want you to talk yourself out of it. Your friends, everyone who supports you. This is a time that could be very confusing for you in your career, but you have the foundation to allow yourself to do this. You understand the pitfalls. You're very aware. It does cause you some sleepless nights a little bit, but as I see you moving forward, you have nothing to worry about. We look at the energy that you have coming in of your, you know, basically your creative life, your romantic life. For those of you who are not in partnership, you may walk away from a situation in which you've been maybe online dating, maybe you're too busy. But what I see right now is that you're going to take a break from recreational activities. You're going to focus totally on getting the most out of those cups as you can. We see this beautiful energy of hopes and dreams for your life coming true. Very 11th house, very Aquarian energy. You have a great, this is something you can take to the bank. It does show that you are emotionally concerned, We, but we also see you really taking care not to waste money, time, or energy on frivolous matters. When we look at your everyday life and where your source of abundance is coming from, it is what you do Monday through Sunday, what you're learning. You have all the skills. You have, look at this, I have goose pimples from the major arcana that you have here, starting with the justice card, which is a Libra, a, a contract, a legal agreement, and the abundance of the Empress providing everything that is in your second house of earned income and everything you value, taking care of everybody you love, manifesting everything that you've ever dreamed of. In your 12th house of being able to sleep well at night, well, you do have a couple of cards here that say that you're going to be restless. But look at this energy. You know, for whatever you're learning in your day-to-day -day life, you will feel very comfortable. You have all of this knowledge already. You may learn some few, a few tricks or, you know, treats to the, the capacity for you to present this beautiful energy of creativity, of being able to create, create something from nothing because that's what the Empress does. She plants seeds, as you can see, from her belly. There's also an international indication here that you might be dealing with a lot of people from different cultures because we see it with the world card and the world is her belly. The world is her creations of her mind and body. So whether it be children or children that are creative, uh, creatively spawned from you. That's what you have. But you have this incredible ability to play well and work well with others. Other people might be unraveled by something. They may have fears. They may not tell you. You're rock solid. You hit the ground running. Look at this. Your Tiki Torches Starry Nights. You could do this with your hands tied blindfolded. Leo, your love life is very interesting looking. It shows a lot of changes coming up for you. 
So we have the overall energy in your love life this month is five of wands competing, feeling competitive, feeling as though there's a lot of low level strife in your relationship. In the recent past, we see that you have reconnected with somebody from your past, somebody that you've fallen very deeply in love with, somebody that you'd like to grow old with, that you feel very loyal to, they feel very loyal to you. We can also see that you're in a situation that looks like it's a third party situation. It looks as though there's heartbreak with this new love coming in. A third party situation looks like it's going to be ended because we get the Three of Swords and the Death and Rebirth card. So the energy is, is that you're taking control of your life, your love life, everything about your life. You're really much you're very much in the emperor energy of driving that chariot forward you want to be happy you want to be fulfilled your person sees this is very much eye to eye with you in terms of how they view the love relationship that you have nine of cups happiness joy laughter sexy sensuality again they also see the desire to grow old with you leo we have the energy of how your person views you. They see you as somebody who's very successful, someone who has overcome ego bot battles with other people, someone who really stays very much focused on what they want. They see you as a winner, winner, chicken dinner, that they see you also making an offer to them or you will accept an offer from them. You will become a very public couple in the near future um, what we see here is in the heart space of your beloved is we see a lot of worry fire in the belly you know it's a lot of the energy of this chariot card moving forward like your person is very very fearful that you might not be able to make this change that it's very difficult to end a third party situation you're you're Lover, beloved person in their heart space, this person that we see here as a new love is very much willing to fight the, you know, fight the good fight to win the good win. We also see that between the two of you right now, you're not talking a lot. You're not speaking a lot. Both of you are looking at life from a different perspective. That's what's hidden. The two of you are thinking the same things, but you're not saying them. So what we see, Leo, is a very powerful connection in which both of you have been holding back. Nobody has taken action in this connection because of respect for a third party. What Spirit is saying is that you can walk forward as a single person, as a knight. You can leave a marriage behind. You can still remain very loyal to your family. You can still provide for them. But destiny is calling you forward you know as we look at the end of this reading and the outcome of the reading we see that there was some you know lack of truthfulness in this ending what we see also is a likelihood that leo you would really never want to hurt anybody that somebody that you've had a long-term commitment with or relationship with you're going to you're going to actually not give them the honest truth or the whole truth because you really don't want to hurt them. Let's look and see actually what spirit recommends for that energy because I want to clarify the advice for your three of swords and your death card, okay? Because it looks as though you're leaving one relationship to be in another. Let's see spirit give us the advice here that you have for our beautiful Leo friends. Okay, let's see what we have. Beyond the ordinary. So you have entered a phase of your life that is beyond anything that you've ever known. And the person that you've fallen in love with is very, very extraordinary. They are not ordinary. And they have captured your heart. They've captured your, your mind, your spirit. They've been super supportive of you. So let's see what we have in terms of any energy, sort of, that could be unexpected. 
Let's see what the dark side of the moon says. The wise woman of Wonderland, integrity and compromise. So your person that you're going to, that you're leaving this relationship for, is pretty extraordinary. This is a person you have a lot of respect for, a person who will absolutely honor whatever obligations you have and be fully supportive. No wonder you are making a big change for someone else or... You know, sometimes the Three of Swords, I'm just going to interject this and go backwards a bit, may have been the heartbreak left from a relationship that had already ended. You may have considered going back to this person, but with this new love coming in, it certainly would have taken that out of the equation. When we look at the advice from the Shaman Oracle, the Shaman Dream Oracle, your dreams may be very, very much giving you nudges of advice to go in the right direction. We saw that in your life path reading. Repairing the veil, forgiveness. So it is you releasing somebody and forgiving them for the trespasses. You know, just like the Lord's Prayer, we forgive those who, who trespass against us. And it is that energy of really letting bygones be bygones, wanting Anyone that you've loved in the past with whom you might have children with or you may have been married to, really hoping and wishing the best for them and living up what living up to whatever obligations you have fully and with great honor. The Lady of Joy, look at this. I don't know who you fell in love with, but you are in love with an absolutely extraordinary person. So, Leo, I'm going to leave it there. My pleasure giving you this reading. Thanks so much. Sending you love from Chicago. Send some back and tell me where you're from.